Alright, what is up? My name is Caleb and today I'm going to be doing a Game Maker tutorial on save, load and directories. So the first thing you're going to have to do is make a player sprite, player object and a control object. I haven't put anything in either of these yet, but I will go through them soon. I just made a quick room as well. Uh, make sure to put the control in before you put the player in. So these objects are both blank at the moment so if you aren't ready yet just uh, pause the video real quick and quickly create these two objects but like I said I haven't done anything to them yet so we're going to have to do that now um, first thing I'm going to have to do is go to the player object and we're going to do uh, the basic movement so I'm going to do if keyboard uh, not capital K keyboard check Ord uh, up, so we're going to do that. We're going to y take equals five. There we go. What did I do here? What did I not do here? Symbol is expected. What did I not put in? Oh, there we go. I missed one of them. All right, but if you wanted to use the arrow keys instead of this, you'd just write vk underscore up. And then you'd get the uh, up arrow key, but I'm going to do the um, WASD keys instead. So what we're going to do is copy this four, not four times, three times. I'm just going to make a quick comment up here saying movement, uh, movement. You can change this five variable to any number you want, or you could even change it to an actual variable. So you can like um, change it from the create event instead. But I'm just going to use uh, numbers just because, um, just to save a little bit of time here, because I'm not really um, going to be talking too much about the movement. So I'm just going to quickly set this up instead. Uh, there we go. So that is pretty much done there. We will have to come back later to do the loading, but that is not really required yet. So we're going to go into here. Um, directory equals, uh, what is it? No, we'll do global directory. Global directory equals working underscore directory. Now you can do one of two things. You can either save the file into working directory, or you can add a saves folder instead, which is what I'm going to be doing. And what I use in most of my games, because I have uh, save files, I have change logs that go into a different file, and I have some games where it uh, loads textures from an external folder like this. So I, I've like always done it like this since then. So we're going to do a quick check to see if it exists. So if it doesn't exist, so directory exists, um, global.directory. So if it doesn't exist, then we're going to create it. So we're going to go uh, directory underscore create global dot dir. There we go. And then we're going to set a alarm equals two times room speed. So we're going to set up uh, the saves as more of an auto save. So this should equal like two seconds. You can just set it to any number you want, really, but I'm just going to set it to two seconds here. Like, it doesn't have to be two times room speed. You can take this out completely and set it to a whole new number, but I prefer to do it like this. Now, in the alarm event, we're going to drag in more code, and we're going to write saving up here. You don't have to write these things in green. They're just comments to let me know what it's doing. You can do it. It's like... A good thing to get into once you get into coding so you know what you've like written and all that sort of stuff so we're going to go open global dot dir plus the save file so we're going to just do save.ini doesn't have to be save.ini it's whatever your game uh requires uh ini write real we're going to be saving the players x so we're going to name the section player, we're going to name the key X, and we're going to go obj underscore player 
dot x. So that should write the player's x coordinate into the section of player under the key of x. So we're just going to copy that again. And instead of x, we're going to grab its y and save the y. And we have to close it off. There we go. And then reset the alarm to the two seconds. There we go. So that is literally all you need. If you want to write a string variable, like if you want a name, you just write string. Um, if there's any more you wanted to write, you just keep doing it like this. But we're going to do the load function now. So we're just going to copy this and put it into the player. So we're going to go to the create event and then here we go. But what we're going to do is check if the file exists so we don't get any errors. Um, so we're going to go uh, check and uh, check and load. So we're going to go if file underscore exists global dot dir plus save dot ini. Then we're going to do this. Here we go. Uh, let's tab this out. So instead of write, we're going to do read. Read. We're going to do x equals y equals and in here we're just going to set it to so if the file doesn't exist which it won't do anyway we will just um you know it doesn't really matter what you put in here anyway unless you didn't do the file exist it will go room uh width divided by two let's copy here this here change this to height so if i didn't have the, the file exist uh, when it uh, would be created, it would make the x equal that, I believe that's how it works. And yeah, that should load in uh, the game. But since the file doesn't exist yet, it won't do that. And the x and y should equal wherever I put it in the room. So that's the save and load done. Just going to check through here, just in case I haven't done everything. Okay, I've put it all in the room, so I'm just going to save it and play it. There we go. What's going on here? I was slowly, very slowly doing it all. All right. All right, there we go. So we're just moving around the room. Yep, there we go. So it should have saved. So I'm going to go into my thing here. Going to go career sim. Uh, so it should be in your user app data and then local and then under the game name. So mine's the YouTube tutorial. And here we go. So we've got a saves folder and we've got a save.ini. So as you can see in here, we've got player, and then we've got the x equals 547, and y equals 467. So that's where I've left off in the room. Now, if I get out of this, and I go back into the room, I should come back to where I was. All right, uh, doing all this stuff here. So I've come over here, I'm just going to... Move my character over here. Wait a little while. Make sure it's saved. Um, yes, it's saved. So I'm going to get out of this. Come back into the game. See, it would have been easier if I just set up a command to just restart the game. And it would have done it. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't think of that at the time. So yeah, now my character has been created and it is now over here so wherever i've left off in the last game it's it's uh done its save and i'm now appearing over here instead so if you guys did enjoy the video please leave a like if something didn't go uh as well or if something went wrong post your error into the comment section below and i'll try and get back to you as soon as possible to help you fix it 
Um, if you have a suggestion for whatever tutorial you want, I'm happy to uh, see that suggestion because I'm not too sure on the next tutorial at the moment, but I do have something in mind. So once again, if you did uh, like the video and if I did help you out today, please leave a like, maybe a comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.